Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Dago333, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. Now, last time we played Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, we hopped in as Yugoslavia. Not Yugoslavia, Serbia. And we later formed Yugoslavia after we pushed back the Bulgarians, then the Kebab, and then finally the Austrians. Now, um, that was all well and good, but it's time to, uh, hop into a different series and start doing something, uh, a lot more interesting, a lot more different. So we're going to start a new game, and we're going to be hopping in as the Union of Britain. Now, uh, in Kaiserreich, Britain, like the royal family Britain, is in Canada now, because Britain had a syndicalist revolution, which was basically communist. And basically, um, they're in total control. Uh, the uh, royal family was uh, pushed back into the mainland, uh, not mainland, into Canada. So, yeah. Um, I was considering doing something about uh, Italy, but. You no, know, playing as Italy, I should say, but... Is it gonna... Please don't crash. There we go. Thank you. Tell me everything. Alright, so, we're not gonna be staying a cynicalist, foe. I'm gonna tell you this right off the bat. Um... Let's get the, uh... Trait eating started up. Let's start our research, I guess. Mortar. Computing. Uh, and then some industry stuff. Got some free military factories. Let's get um, that going. Some guns. Artillery. Support equipment. Um... I guess some motorized and some Vickers. We'll start uh, put more uh, some more guns there. All right, so let's build a few civvy factories here, and then some military factories. So we're not staying cynicalists. We're going to be going down a much different path. Eighteen divisions. All right, I'll take that. Only a defensive units looks like. Well, we have a bit of a, um... We have some infantry divisions, which are alright. Um, who do we have as, um... Yeah, alright. Anyway, there's a series of events where we can get, uh, good old, uh... T.E. Lawrence, a.k.a. Lawrence of Arabia, in to our, uh... You know, kind of help out us out. And that kind of sparks a series of events, which kind of, uh... Well, we'll, we'll see when we get there, really. Um... Alright, um, after the defeat of France, the UK's war with Germany dragged out inconclusively for two years. In 1921, the stalemate was finally broken when Lloyd George agreed to the German proposal of a peace with honor. While British Britain's overseas territories remained largely intact, the faith of the people did not. In 1925, disaster struck a minor labor, labor dispute in the coalfields of South Wales, quickly escalating after six weeks of rioting, looting, and pamphleteering. Most of the establishment, including the royal family, had fled to Canada. A provisional government of revolutionary groups dissolved what little, little was left of Parliament and declared a new Union of Britain. Fifteen years later, the Trade Union Congress still forms a center... Uh, the centerpiece of politics of a federated and democratic union. The British people are secure on the island, content to build socialism in isolation, proceeding, uh, protected by strong Republican Air Force and Navy, and with each country protected by its own popular militia, who acts both as a reserve military and a new police. Yet, with the world seemingly ready to erupt into chaos, many are starting to wonder if Britain has a duty to spread the revolution to our former colonial territories. After all, the monarchists in Canada cannot be allowed to plot against the Union indefinitely. Fascinating indeed. I forgot to set what I want to do with my boats. Uh, my dockyards, that's right. Um, let's 
build some destroyers. Let's build a, ourselves a battle cruiser. Uh, we need some oil and some chromium. Let's trade with uh, the US of A. We also need some rubber. Let's go with Germany. Anywho. So yeah, we're not saying uh, staying socialist for much longer. Um, we're gonna have to wait quite a bit though, if we're gonna switch over. So, Comrade Mosley calls a meeting. Comrade Mosley, of the Maximus faction, has invited George Fala of the French Soratellians, Lavrenzi Beria of the former Bolsheviks in Georgia, and Benito Mussolini of the Italian National Syndicalists to Birmingham to compile a manifesto stating their joint aims for a new kind of socialism called totalism. Chairman Snowden's Federationist should keep an eye on this development. Now, Mussolini should sound familiar to you because he is the head of the totalist in Italia. Uh, Mosley might sound familiar to you as well. In France. Yeah, um, he's the fascist leader and of a base game. It was kind of a, f and not kind of. He was a complete fascist in real life until I don't forget what happened to him exactly. But and well, there goes Black Monday. I don't know. I I don't forget exactly what happened in our timeline. But yeah, so um, gridlock in France. Uh, commune. Um, I guess for Pope. So yeah, we're going to be um waiting a little bit. I think we have to wait for the union. Yeah, we have to wait for the union. Then after that, all right. Vote for economic policy. The debate. It's wandered in the area of economics, as has been predicted. Every faction has put forward their own suggestions. Most people assume that Maximus will win this debate, since Oswald, Oswald Mosley is a major figure in the British economy of states. Um, centralized and streamlined. Expanded and centralized. Uh, greater autonomy to the home nations. Yeah, we're going Maximus. Because we kind of have to, uh, for this to work, if I recall. But for foreign policy... Canada is our mortal enemy, and France is a good friend. Yeah, we'll fight them wherever we find it. Fight them. Military policy. Uh, we want to go socialist for this, actually. And eternal policy. Yeah. First International Congress. All right, well, resignation of Philip Snowden. Oh, no. On the last day of the TUC, Congress Chairman Philip Snowden climbed up to the podium and made a speech. He claimed that in the face of massive rifts within the TUC, I forgot to set my timer shit, and due to his age, he intends to resign his post. He also pulled out the cliché time with his family bit that all politicians do. The congregation stood silent as he climbed down from the podium and made his way out of the hall. The country is shocked. In a few days' time, the TUC will have to vote on a new chairman. We will see who it is. Let me just set my fucking timer now. Um, shocking, to say the least. Low popularity. Well, so be it. Yep, Maximus. Congratulations, Comrade Mosley, you smug fuck. Affecting officers. Well, um. Um. Some of Royal's officers have defected to us, Adam. 
Admiral Willis, General Hutton, and Walt Creek Hero, General Alexander. All right. Um. Well, uh, we're uh, kind of going to be busy. So, uh, yeah. Um, now that a chairman has been posted, many are urging to quickly choose a new general secretary to end the period, the period of uncertainty in British politics. Let's go, I don't think it matters, let's go with Eric Blair though. Why not? Um, the commune wants, um, well, we're kind of, uh, kind of busy. Low stability, that's not good. Our stability is actually quite low, it seems. Um, did they go for a thing where we ask? That doesn't look like it. Alright, um, we'll see what France ends up doing, or going for. And Italy, because I'm curious. Because usually what I kind of... Really? Alright. Um, let's trade with... They, uh... Let's trade with, uh, the Dutch, then. Why not? We also need chromium. That's great. Let's go with um, the Ottomans. Research going. Uh, concentrate industry works. Let's go for interwar artillery. Sounds pretty good. And set national focus. Let's. We can vote for officers. I think what we're supposed to do, what we sh I'm supposed to do, I should say, um, new Lee Enfield. What is? Yeah, we'll add you up there. India and uh, yeah, it's about right. Are they gonna go uh, totalist? Not totalist, uh, national populist. Siamese revolutions. Um, narco syndicalist. All right. So these guys again. All right. I think we're supposed to go uh, red. The red. Then we'll go down this. I think that's what we're supposed to do. At least. Um, let's go... The Matilda tank. What does France have? Hmm. It's going for colonial courts. Siamese Federation. Newly infield. Now let's stay flexible. Let's go for the RED. Papal Conclave. Pope Stephen, which one? Oh. Alright, he's, um... Monarchist. Potential monarchist. Potential democracy bringer. I guess that works. Poland has a new king. Habsburg. I think it was. Yep, a Habsburg. Whatever works for you, Poland. You still have the, um... Eternal, um... Oh, looks like you do. We got some free dockyards going. So let us start working on 
battle cruiser going. We'll set you. First of all, let's get some subs going, I guess. The rest of that. Auto. Union Brent Fleet. That works. Next, let's go uh, radio. And Flanders has broken away from Valonia. Triad states. Really? Hmm. You know, right? Whatever floats your boat, I guess. And another one. We can probably train more than two at a time, right? Yeah, we can. So let's do that. Get some good factories factories built, at least. The R.E.D. Let's go uh, vote for officers. Now, um... Let's get working on some better subs. Alright, Strangoon. Not nice, but... What are you up to, Michael? Military industry, okay. Guy Fox Day. Oh! Okay, Jackie. Well, this is going to be interesting. Okay, Japan? Not Japan. Why the fuck did I just say Japan? Fuck it. Um, concentrate. I have no fucking idea where that came from. I guess I was looking at... Maybe it was because I was looking at, um... These triad snickets and rats somewhat close to Japan? I have no fucking idea. I was just, uh... Go for it. Um, T.E. Lawrence offers his services. Veteran agitator and aide in the Arab Revolt in the Great War, T.E. Lawrence, has kept a low profile in the Union so far. However, three years ago, he nearly avoided death in a motorcycle accident that ended, up, that ended years of aimless wandering through life. Today, he approached the High Army Command and offered to drain as an agitator to help European syndicalists rise up during the eventual war of Germany. You know what? Why not? I mean, it's not... I don't see why not. Hmm. Corporate 49ers. I right, vote for officers. Let's go... I don't know if it matters too much what we do. Um, hmm, what should we do? I guess let's go, uh, this looks pretty good. So let's go for that. What's Canada going to go up? Um, Aston Bill C7. Sounds about right. Got the Matilda tank and the radio. Go light tank two. Let's go, um... 
it's uh, 37 now, so we can go industry 2, machine tools 2. Or improved machine tools, but I mean, machine tools 2, two kind of works, right? right? Kind of. Um, add you up there. I'll, I swear I'll figure out something to do for you guys eventually, but if you want to take back Ireland, I kind of feel bad for poor Collins when I might have to do that, but I mean, it was ours, and now we don't have it anymore. So, I'm just just putting the idea out there, alright? Hmm. What's going to happen with Spain here? Haiti, be Dominica. And now that that's done, let's get some more destroyers going. Um, a heavy cruiser. Let's go two, two of these works. Yeah, two will be, two sounds good. Central industry research. Now we can go down something else. Let's, let's get some more factories in Wales. I'm sure Wales could use some factories. Um, Serbia crowns the king. About time. Four fucking Serbs. Paternal autocrat, so. Looks like you want a totalist path. But you know, whatever works for you, man. Up. Oh. Yep, um. Uh, Sounds about right. CSA. There goes the war, boys. Um. Nah, we don't have to. Now let's see what our volunt. I need tension it. Um, Soviet Russia? What? It's not Soviet Russia, but... Nah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of power lost. Um, uh, well... I want to see what happens if we don't host it. And we're not really into all that socialism crap. Um, let's go battle ships. Democracy prevails in the Philippines. Good for them. Um, Spark it was all of the socialist world. French came. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, very low stability. That's not good. It's almost as if a, something might ha happen in the upcoming months. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that was my timer, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, you can feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of my content in the future, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, co more content will be coming out uh, every weekday and every, uh, what is it? Every Saturday. That's it, right? I just forgot for some reason. If you have any feedback or comments for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. That's what, that's what it's there for. Um, I appreciate any feedback you have for me. I read all the comments, so... 
you have a suggestion, I'll probably be there to read it. Um, I have a Patreon down the link below if you want to support me financially. Um, I don't make ads off my video, so this is really the only way I can make money. So, if, you know, keep that in mind, please, and um, I hope you consider donating to me. So I have Discord down the link below if you want to chat or play games or anything of the sort. Uh, Discord is a place to join up so we can do that. We can hopefully have some fun together. Now that's it, guys. My name has been Doggo333, and I'll see you next, uh, next time. Bye.